666 was a reference to the Emperor Nero, uh, who of course was a great persecutor of, of early Christians. As far, as far as he was concerned, they, they should all be thrown to the lions. But of course we know that Nero was uh, definitely uh, one jug of wine short of a cellar. So, so in a sense, you know, he had it against everybody. 666, what does it remind you of? It's the name of the monster, it's the name of the beast. It's the promise of, of doom. Again, this obsession with death. It's the number of the devil, the son of the devil. Whatever the origins of the number plate, Keith the owner is convinced the car is cursed. He blames it for everything, from rotten weather to his TV exploding. Which is where New Age druid Ivan Macbeth and his merry band of megalithic druids come in. They've promised to lift the curse. Joining Dave this evening is Lilla B and Kevin John. Lilla says she's a trained shaman, and Kevin may be her boyfriend. We're not sure. The ceremony begins with a quick sacred chant. Then the druid in the funny hat heaps neo-pagan blessings on the car. Come and bless this car, for it is not cursed. This car is just misunderstood. Within moments of climbing inside the car, something very strange starts to happen. Kevin seems to have become possessed in the passenger seat. But the megalithic druids are unaware of the paranormal assault taking place inside the car. Lilla is now apparently exorcising Kevin with a crystal, which she carries in her handbag at all times for emergencies just like this one. It's a bit like psychic game fishing. Lilla reels the entity into her crystal ball until suddenly... Hooray! It's inside the crystal. The energy, the entity that was in the car, it's left the car space via Kevin and is now in my crystal. Now the malevolent spirit is trapped in Lilla's crystal. Kevin needs to be healed and so the spitting begins. It may look rude, but we're told these libations are restoring Kevin's chakras. Next to be spat on is the cursed car. <laughs> I like that one. Mm.